Hey folks, Mr. Maureen here coming at you with another how to navigate our resources. I wanted to uh, make sure that you got to see a spice tea. A lot of us are having some questions here and that's fine. I want to just make sure that we got a chance to detail and go through this resource. So spice tea is an acronym. Each letter stands for a specific word. These are the six Themes. This is a framework of thinking and organizing that we'll use in world history. The six themes are used to break down and explore world history and evidence and ideas. They are each their own pair of specific glasses. So the S theme for social, for example, is like a specific lens that we look through to consider the social aspects of a given culture, a given society, a given issue. Within each era, we'll be able to use these lenses, S, P, I, C, E, and T, to categorize our thinking, group our thinking, and then analyze what we're learning. I'll go through and break down now what each of the letters stands for and what might be included when we talk about social or political. Social, the S in spice tea, is the development and the transformation of a society, of a social structure. We see here with the pyramid that we've got different levels based upon power and ranking and status in a given society. We're looking here at ancient Egypt, of course. Easy to put those different strata in the framework of a pyramid with the pharaoh, the god king at the top. So social structures can include divisions and levels, or what we'll call a hierarchy, based upon things like gender roles and relationships. We'll see this a lot with the differences that emerge between men and women for various reasons and why and how they're supported. We'll see social structure and a hierarchy that exists within families and kinship roles. This social breakdown and division could be the result of racial and ethnic constructions or economic classes or lifestyles. So when we're talking about social, we're often talk talking about the levels in which people exist in a society in relationship to power. And that power could be the result of gender, it could be the result of job, it could be the result of money. Political, or the P in spice tea, has to do with state building at a larger macro level. It could have to do with conflict and things like empire and nation building, disputes over borders, war, rebellions. It also includes bureaucracy here. Bureaucracy, this B word, is one that we'll explore a lot. This is the more complex working and professional government officials. These aren't kings. These aren't folks who are elected. These are people who are hired for a job that are helping to maintain the function of government. And just as to point out here, regional and trans-regional organizations, so the relationship between different states, that could be peaceful and diplomatic. It doesn't have to just be war when we're talking about politics. It can be diplomacy as well. The I in the SPICE T uh, mnemonic device or acronym is a little bit complicated because our shorthand for it is environment. And that obviously starts with an E. But in order to make the phrase sound nice as SPICE T, we refer to interactions between humans as the environment, um, whether we're talking about demography or the study of people or disease, agriculture, the migration of humans, their relationship to different geographic features like mountains or water, um, transportation, where and how animals lived in different regions. These are all examples of interactions between humans and the environment that become a really helpful lens and really where we'll start our course. We take a look at the early Paleolithic humans and the development of agriculture, so much of the bigger agricultural settlements that would go on to become the world's first major civilizations all share some pretty important geographic elements in common. So understanding human beings' relationship to nature and where it's just been more advantageous or, or humans have had more luck depending on where 
they settled. C stands for culture. Culture includes everything from language to traditions to religion to art to philosophy. These are the unique characteristics and belief systems and practices of a given group of people. Um, these can be systems of, of, of practice. These could be systems of faith and belief and systems of how uh, a community uh, celebrates, how they mourn, how they uh, believe where humans have come from and where we're going. So culture will be a big focus for us in this course as we explore religion and belief systems. I note that vocabulary word there at the bottom, syncretism, or the adjective is syncretic. This is the idea that we get cultural traditions like Buddhism of this statue pictured here that are a blend together. Buddhism really flourished because of the uh, merchants that moved Buddhism along the Silk Roads. And so we see very specific and, and blended or syncretic flavors of Buddhism as they pop up in different regions across Central Asia. Economic is the E in spice tea. This is the creation and expansion of trade and commerce systems. Um, this will talk about how we see different uh, products that are in greater demand move across different regions. In our course, we focus a lot on the silk and sand roads, of course, Indian Ocean trading. We spend a lot of time looking at how trade between Africa and Central Asia and Southeast Asia really builds up the framework that then uh, helps to um, create Western Europe's expansion uh, towards the end of our course. It is important to note that taxation, monetary systems, industrialization and urbanization are all a part of economic frameworks of how human beings have built up more complex systems. It is of course to, uh, important to acknowledge that slavery is a component of economics. Certainly slaves fit in somewhere on the social ladder or hierarchy. So depending on how we're talking about slavery, social could be an appropriate category, but it's mostly gonna be an economic uh, tool. Most major civilizations have built up so successfully because they had forced free labor. And lastly, we have T for technology. Technology is any tool that helps to make some specific task easier, more efficient, more effective, um, whether we're looking at an old Davi hand axe or the smartphone. These are tools that human beings incorporate into our lives and help to create new systems, new demands, new um, ways of, of being and, and new economies because uh, of our, our technological innovation. So we see at first when we're looking at ancient human beings how tools have been uh, a part of meeting our basic needs and then have been more and more about satisfying our uh, leisure needs. So that wraps up my slideshow on the spice tea themes. Hopefully this is a helpful way for you to practice them and start to utilize these categories in both your thinking your writing, and your speaking. Thank you.